Cheryl, thank you so much for coming on here. Guys, this is Cheryl Pierce, an incredible human being who's about to share her story. So please, right now, start asking her questions. We'll get to them at the end. Cheryl, thank you for coming on. And let's start right at the start. Why don't you share a little bit about what you were struggling with before we met? Okay, I'd say my struggle started about eight and a half years ago. Um, I was 47, I'd lost my brother. And I can remember actually, because up to that point, I was really well into my fitness and my health. And I can actually remember saying, what is the point? Why am I doing this? And um, I had to keep going because I, I run my own business and other people were like relying on me, but I was sort of like struggling. And I can remember thinking to myself, you need to set yourself a target. You can sink or swim. So I thought, right, that's it. I'm going to swim. So I thought, well, what can I do? So I thought, well, move, get a, get a bigger house, get a bigger mortgage. That will make you have to concentrate on work. So I did all of that. Um, and then not long after, the menopause hit me. And I'll tell you something, once that hit, I just wanted to eat everything out of my cupboard, out of the fridge. I felt totally, totally out of control. My energy levels went, I was hardly sleeping. And I, I was really, really struggling. Um, but I was sort of like thinking I was swimming. I was, I was um, and I got to the point where it was when I had a knee accident, I was trying to learn to ski and I snapped my ligament. So up to that point, I was exercising, but obviously when that happened, exercise just went out the window. And that's when I started putting my weight on. It was just, to me, I was sort of like lost in my mind. It wasn't just about the food, it was in my mind as well. Um, and I literally put on a stone and a half and every time because I had to go and get bigger clothes but I hated clothes shopping because I didn't want to go in those fitting rooms where you've got that massive mirror and that light that shines above you because it shows up everything that you really don't want it to show up so but I had to buy clothes so I just buy the basics I basically lived in the same old stuff stretchy stuff really and um it got to a point where I'd gone to a friend's barbecue because I, I I didn't have a lot of mirrors either in my house. I didn't have any full length mirrors. So I was like in big time denial, but it wasn't until my friend had taken a picture of me at her barbecue and she posted it on Facebook. I was mortified. I had a massive wake up call. So at that point I thought, right, what can you do? Um, my knee was still causing me problems. So I couldn't do a lot of exercise. And I thought, right, which fad diet can I do? So I tried all these different diets, which yeah, momentarily they might have worked, but then as soon as you stop them, it all came piling back on again. What did you try? What did you so, try? Oh, I, I tried, but I failed with those. And I was thinking, right, we're going, we were, we had a trip book to Australia and I was thinking, I've got to lose it for that. But at the end of the day, I didn't. And it wasn't until we come back, um, my now husband, he proposed to me. So I said, yes. I said, but you're going to have to wait two years. And he said, why? And I said, well, there's no rush. I couldn't tell him the re real reason because I've never told him how crap that I felt about myself. Um, so we booked it for two years. but it And it made me go back to eating how I used to, but it took me two years to lose just a stone. And I'd got a personal trainer as well. And so my body shape was changing, but... I was still, um, it took me a long, long time like to get there. Mm. In hindsight, I can see why, but at that point I couldn't. But at the same time, where my confidence had dropped, I used to dread going to meetings because I really didn't want the people that I've known for years to see how big that I got. So I try and make up loads and loads of excuses. But anyway, I lost that stone, got, went and got married, we came back. And um, it wasn't long afterwards. I had a fall and I had concussion. I had it for quite some time. And then I was recovering from that and we'd gone on what we'd already planned a friend's sort of like holiday. So I thought, oh, I'm bound to put on a couple of pounds, but I can live with that. So I can get rid of it when I get back. Mm -hmm. But anyway, when we, as we were coming back, both Ross and I, we, we had a, this was last year, the beginning of last year, we had such a terrible virus. 
that we were like out of action for about six weeks. So obviously when I had concussion, I couldn't exercise and my mind wasn't in it to eat properly. Mm. I could, and then not being very well, everything was like going out the window. And it, it sort of like got to the point that I was supposed to have this Zoom. It was when that pandemic started, I was supposed to have a Zoom meeting and I was still working. My business was still going at the time and I was still working. And I said, right girls, I've got this meeting. I've got to go home. But when my confidence was so, so low, I knew full well I was going home, but I wasn't doing the meeting. So I left it an hour, I went back to work and I said, right, I couldn't get on the meeting, my internet didn't work. And, I, and then I realised this has got to change. And then when we couldn't work at all, I'd be at home and I thought, right, that's it. Get back into your fitness, start eating properly. But I didn't, I was getting like lower and lower and lower until your message popped up on my Facebook page. <laughs> and then, I'm just so glad I made that call, so glad. And look, what made you feel that we could help you, first of all? Obviously, you tried lots of different things. What made you feel that we could help? I think, because in the past, I knew these fad diets didn't work. And when I went back to eating how I used to eat, before I started the weight gain and stuff, it really wasn't working. Like I said, it took two years to lose. It was just over a stone. Whereas before I'd never had that problem. And I realized when I got into your plan, when I, when I was like looking into it and you not only offered the exercise and it was the nutrition and it was the mindset, I thought never ever before had I seen a program quite like this. And um, because I knew it wasn't just about me losing weight because even though my weight was creeping up a bit, it was nowhere near as it was. I knew I needed a complete sort of like overhaul how I looked at it all. Mm. And I can remember I booked in a call with you and I said to you, I can't make a decision right now. I've got to go away and think about it. But one thing that sticks in my mind is you could, you sussed me out. You said you actually need a purpose. And I went away thinking he is so right. I do need a purpose. So anyway, I looked into you and I could see what other people had written and I looked up your uh, website and stuff. And I thought, I'm going to give this a go. I've got nothing to lose, but everything to gain to just give it a go. And I thought, I'm worth investing in. So mm. that's when I, I rang you on the Monday and I said, yes, I'm in. I remember that. I remember that. And I often say to people, I want no pressure to do it now. Take as long as you need. But I need you to be aware that I've been doing this for 18 years. And the single biggest obstacle is normally delay, putting things off. And as long as I've got that off my chest and you're aware of it, I'm totally cool. And then you come back and fair play, you reflected. And look, what did you achieve? What did you achieve, Cheryl? Well, like I said before, it wasn't just about um, like losing weight, which I, I did. I lost that half a stone that I wanted to lose. But it was the change in my body. I just couldn't believe it. When... I, you know that gap where you could go and see people a little bit, in that gap, people were saying, oh my God. And I said, yeah, I haven't like lost loads of weight, but my body shape had completely changed. And I went and bought big mirrors. So I've got big mirrors so I can look in the mirrors. Yeah. I went shopping and I was trying on my old clothes as well, which I could get into, which they're probably out of fashion now because <laughs> it was such a long time ago that I could actually get into them. But it was such an amazing feeling. It, it's given me my confidence back. I can now, like before, my alarm clock would go off. I'd be hitting the buzzer, like I know a lot of people probably used to do. I'd like, be hitting my buzzer. And I'd always arrive to work late. Everyone else would get to work before me. And I mean, it doesn't really look very good, does it? But now I'm, I'm up at five o'clock every day. I do my workout and I still get into work before everybody else. But it's, it's the mindset thing as well, because during that, it was just before I joined up with you, I'd actually got to the point where I actually rang my accountant and, and said, because I thought, oh, I just can't be bothered anymore. I rang him up and I said, what do I need to do to find my business down? I said, I can't be doing this anymore. I've been, I've been doing it for 26 years. Really had enough. So he was telling me what I had to do. 
and then it's go gradually going through your program. I could just feel myself changing. My enthusiasm was back. I was feeling fitter. I was feeling stronger. I was feeling happier. And for the first time, it was, and this isn't a lie, since 1996, and I can remember why, I, I really suffered from insomnia for a long, long time. Um, it did get worse going through the menopause, but then I, I can sleep. I can actually sleep. I still wake up, but three times now I've actually slept through the whole of the night and that has not happened to me since 1996. So it's done loads of things for me, loads. I look forward to my meetings. I don't shy away from them. I embrace them. I mean, it gives me a buzz normally like a work meeting. I used to love them. To me, it used to be like going out for a day. So I'd like, sometimes it was in London or something, so I'd have to travel up. And I love me meeting new people. But it really had got to me and I'd got so low that I was ready just to chuck it all in. But I'm not now. Oh, and it's sure. buzzing. <laughs> Amazing, and your shape has completely changed. I mean, honestly, guys, guys, the camera is not doing Cheryl justice in terms of what she's achieved. It really isn't. As you can't see her, I'm telling you, but what she's achieved is phenomenal. Give her a stalk on Facebook and you'll see. Give her a stalk. Uh, <laughs> Cheryl, that, that is amazing because we all know that when you're tired, when you suffer from insomnia, your day just feels like a real struggle. Your motivation and as you said, your enthusiasm drops, but obviously it's impacted your sleep, your work, your business. But most importantly, what makes it, what makes you feel that it's sustainable? What makes you feel this is not just a flash in the pan? What makes you feel this is for longevity? This is for your life? I used to find like when I said before I went back to how I used to eat, it used to work for me when I was younger, but I didn't realize. It was, uh, it was mainly a high protein diet. At that time until now, I didn't realize that I could eat carbs like I ate carbs. And the meal plans that you set out, they're a fantastic size. I can remember first making my bachelor of cooking thinking, surely you can't eat all of this. Maybe I've looked at it wrong. Maybe I've measured it out wrong. So I had to check, but no. So the food's realistic, it's, made suited around your tastes what you like so you know you're going to eat it because you're going to enjoy it the, and the, the exercise plans which is very important to me because i really really love it i love it so much just got to say this i love it so much that i really want to go into powerlifting now I've, yeah. it's given me this buzz. it really has given me a buzz but the exercises they were all programmed around me so i know i've had personal trainers in the past and yes they are good but i can remember being in the gym watching the personal trainer i had training someone else on exactly the same program and i can remember them thinking but they're different to me so why are they doing exactly the same program but yours isn't like that yours is actually built to suit the person so it's it's easy to keep to because you can see the results the food's easy to keep to because it's realistic. It's real food and it fills you up. You, you don't need to go and snack. Well, look, Cheryl, if I was to ask you to have unicorn toe and stuff, organic salmon four times a day, you know, it's, not, it's not sustainable. It has to be about longevity and what's actually realistic. And everyone is different, different bodies. We need different stimulus for different things, depending on so many variables. But Cheryl, you are just an inspiration. I mean... You really are. I was so looking forward to having you on here today. And look, number one question, which is why you're here, is because obviously we want you to inspire other people. So you, you've you been there. You've been at the start where you're a little nervous or you're a little unsure. So what would you say to someone to inspire someone to start their own journey, their own weight loss journey? I like to say that. We all suffer that bit of fear factor with the change. We, we, we can all do that, but we have to take, take a leap forward. You've got to remind yourself that you matter. You can and you deserve to get the goals and live the life that you want to live. I mean, to me, it's completely changed my life back around again. I never, ever thought I'd be sat here saying this. I, I really didn't. So I would just say, 
take a leap of faith and do the plan. It will change your life completely and you will never regret it. It's something for life. It will stay with you for life. Oh, Cheryl, you're such an incredible human. You're such an incredible human. I love speaking to you. You're such a high achiever in life anyway. And now when you have more recovery, more energy and better body confidence, you're literally the sky is the limit for you, Cheryl. It is. I really feel like that. Even if it isn't, I actually feel like that. So I'm not going to hold myself back. If anything holds me back, it's things that I can't control. But I'm not going to allow myself to hold myself back now. And it's all because I've actually done this program. Oh, so yeah. anyone out there, don't doubt it. It really, really, really is real. And it really works. It's your sweat and your shirt, Cheryl. You did the hard work. You're the one, okay? So you're taking the credit. <laughs> Cheryl. Thank you. But I've had good guidance. <laughs> I appreciate the compliments. <laughs> Obviously, Francis is fantastic. He is an incredible human. Absolutely. And can I just say as well, I mean, well, when I was going through a bit in elite, I had an old back injury that flared up and also I developed tennis elbow. And Danny, she was fantastic. She, she gave me some physio exercises for my arm and Tristan gave me some exercises to strengthen my back and then I was back on track. I mean, you're never gonna get that anywhere else. You, you just don't get that. So it's, it's been fantastic, absolutely fantastic support from you and your team and everybody else in the community as well and on the Facebook pages and stuff. Everyone's amazing. Oh, Cheryl, you've, you've made my day. You, you, you really have. Um, and this is only the start for you. I know you're going to keep achieving. And I'm serious. If you want to compete in powerlifting, myself and Tristan, we will find a way of getting there to support you on the day. You make sure you let us know. I'm, I'm just Definitely. so, I'm telling you, I, I, I don't care what's happening right now with flights, we'll find a way, but Cheryl, you should be so proud of yourself, and from the bottom of my heart, sincere thank you, sincere thank you, Cheryl. Thank you as well. Not at all, have a wonderful- I'm enjoying my journey. Yes, and it's only been started. Yes, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. All the best. Thank you, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.